we're gonna be looking into shell middens. Now, one thing we have in Galveston Bay and bays all over the Gulf Coast are oysters, tons and tons of oysters. Now, shell middens are basically refuse piles for Native Americans living anywhere near water where they could source clams, fish, oysters, you name it, and throw it in a big trash pile. And these shell middens can be found all over the coastline of the United States, including interior waterways. The one interesting thing about gathering oysters along Galveston Bay for thousands of years is that the oyster shells would begin to accumulate in what are now known as shell middens. The bones, shell, and pottery found in shell middens give us amazing insight to what day-to-day -day life was like for Native Americans in this area. Shell middens have given researchers amazing insight to Native American lifestyle and coastal ecology in this area. Well, it is notoriously difficult to find shell middens here on Galveston Island. One reason being, when Native Americans would stack up these shells to create a midden, that would be right along the edge of the water of Galveston Bay. Over the past few hundred or thousand years, coastal erosion has taken a toll, washing away tons of shell middens here along the bay side. But another reason has to do with the population growth of Galveston in the late 1800s. Before wooden block or brick roads were installed in Galveston, the next logical choice would be rocks or oyster shell. But what Galveston did have were thousands of years worth of shell middens all along Galveston Bay. So from the mid to late 1800s, many of the shell middens all along Galveston Bay were relocated to Galveston Street. 